from Mamma Mia, welcome to Tried and Tested, the podcast where we put trending beauty and skincare hacks to the test so you don't have to, unless they're really, really good. Unless they're really, really <laughs> worth it. I am M. Vernon. Who are you? M. Vernon. I'm Erin Doherty. Oh, Erin, what do you have for us today? Oh my gosh. Okay, I have a powder puff hack that promises to apply foundation better than your beauty blender or your makeup brush. Mm, I don't believe you. you. Oh, well, I'll tell you. I'll, I will prove you wrong. <laughs> what I have is I have a hack that tells you what type of skin type you are. So if you're not sure if you're like oily, dry or combination, I've got a hack that tells you exactly how, exactly what type of skin type you are in 30 minutes. Okay, that sounds pretty good. I feel like because everyone's super confused about their skin type. Always. I am. I always ask you and you're like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, babe. <laughs> I'm figure that out. That's a own. you problem. <laughs> okay, am I going to start off? I think you should start off today. Okay, I brought my... Oh, we've got <laughs> this things is a show to play and tell. with. Bear with me. Come on. Okay, I've got a beauty sponge just to visually show you <laughs> <laughs> how much your like, foundation is in there. This is what I'm talking about. What's a that? powder puff. So oh my I, god, like what my nana uses. Yes. Okay, so they're coming back in a big no. way. They're all over TikTok. I have just the Manicare powder puff. You can pick them up at the chemist or you can get them in like okay. fancier versions in like Mecca and stuff like that. I saw this on Instagram, but it is doing the rounds everywhere. I've brought my foundation as well to kind of just what show you how is this? the hack is. It's like an egg. That's called polite society more than a pretty face so that's a kind of new formula it's from mecca it anyway so this nice. is sorry that's not there that's this not another one <laughs> i firstly saw it on instagram a content creator she's a beauty content creator named stephanie valentine she posted this hack and said that she's applied a full base a full face of makeup in 33 seconds using a powder puff and talked about how it looks so much more flawless. In 30 seconds? In 33 seconds. Oh, okay. So that caught my eye and I was like, okay, weird. I'll give it a go. So I did. And I've also brought my mirror because I want to prove to you how <laughs> different this is. Let me just give you the rundown though. Okay. All you basically do is use your powder puff and pat pat it into your face you don't want to you don't want to kind of like drag it because you will end up with streaks oh. but you kind of just bounce it into your skin the reason this is so good is because your general beauty sponge which i always use obviously eats up so much of your foundation and yeah. if you've got a really expensive foundation i swear it lasts yeah like, all you your know, foundations in there it's all in here. i use a brush so i use a foundation brush so i sometimes use a brush but then i always find that it leaves those um, streaks, brush marks yeah. obviously so then i go ahead and then i use my blender and then it kind of takes longer than it should so i was really keen to see if this worked i would assume the puff would like take longer because you're padding so much well was it the brush enough, just, like, it actually done. doesn't because the texture of it's kind of velvet, so it doesn't absorb all of the foundation. So the foundation's kind of just sitting on top. So when you're pressing it into your skin, not only does it not eat up all your foundation, but it also applies a, more of a like a maximum coverage, I oh. suppose. So, you know, when you get your beauty blender and you have to like rinse it, you yeah. usually use it damp. When I've been struggling with breakouts, breakouts which I have for the past couple of weeks especially around my chin area I find that my usual way of using a beauty blender and running it underwater having it damp and then you know bouncing yeah. it into my face the makeup is just not covering the redness oh, no. and I feel like I have to go and put more on and add more on but then I tried using the powder puff and it actually gives you way more coverage where you need it I'm going to show you have you noticed that you um, use less foundation as well yes so I've only actually been using this for oh, one she's week she's got the mirror out but she means business the mirror's out she means business so I'm just going to show you I've been breaking out really bad on my chin and my nose always has way less makeup on it at the end of the day because I yeah, rub my nose and everything like that. I'm only going to use like a little bit. Oh, so you put it straight on the puff. You put it straight on the puff. Well, I do anyway. It's kind of like a... It's kind of like a such medium, a tiny bit. Yeah, uh, only a little bit. Because yeah, you use a lot more, I swear, when you use a beauty really? blender. So this is kind of like a medium to maximum coverage foundation. Okay. But even when I use this with a blender... Yeah, I I'm like a full glob. Enough. So, like, you just pat it in, and I've got some breakouts around here. So, I'm just patting it into my skin. 
and I swear the coverage it's is so already much like better. evened out. Like that's so weird to me. Oh, it looks quite therapeutic. It actually it feels What the better. heck? It's like there's so much on there, but I just saw you put stuff on there and it didn't look like much at all. It honestly gives you better coverage. I feel like if you've got acne prone skin or if you struggle with breakouts every now and then and you're not up for like a really glowy sheer look this could be a good hack if you're trying to cover up yeah. your skin but you don't want to use powder as well because yeah if you've i never got, use powder I'm and like, if you've got minimum dry skin, steps powder is just a, it's cursed <laughs> use <laughs> it's it on dry cursed. skin anyway so i don't know if you can see that but the coverage is way better it feels good and I, I feel like my makeup's not like moving around as much if that makes sense like i'm not kind of pushing everything around this but is a hack. This is a hack and I rate it. And I don't know why we ever didn't use liquid foundation with powder puffs, but powder yes. puffs are back in a big way. How often do you have to wash that puff? So I would I would wash this at least like once a week, but you can get like a really cheap packet of puffs. Like this is Manicare. You could get them quite cheap in the chemist. Oh my God. And I feel like beauty blenders only they always end up looking grubby mm. after like a couple of weeks you wash them and then you cut them open and you're like oh there's my, oh my god you should foundation. see my makeup brush there's like black stuff in there and i don't even know how there's a there. lot going on in there but yeah, yeah so highly recommended em that's oh, mine da-ding! that's a nail a nail okay what have you got okay so i never knew what my skin type was like i know there's three distinct ones combination dry and oily but I never really trusted that. Like I I feel like depending on my like menstrual cycle, the time of the year, like I could be like all three. So I had no idea. It's way more complex than yeah. just you fit into one of these three things. So I saw a TikTok from this beauty influencer called Bambi Does Beauty. She's Ooh. absolutely brilliant. And she said that to find out exactly what your skin type is, all you have to do is cleanse your face and then put no product on, like no creams or anything, no makeup for 30 minutes. And then check your skin after the 30 minutes. And depending how your skin feels will tell you what type your skin is. Okay, that already makes me feel terrified because if I leave my skin dry really? after like two seconds, it's like so thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> like put something on me. Help me, please. So I guess I know that it is dry, right? So, so <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. So I tried it today, actually, like this mm-hmm. morning. I didn't come into work because that was insane. I couldn't do that without products. So I did it this morning. I washed my face with just like a cream-based cleanser. I waited 30 minutes and then my skin was really dry. As in like, it felt like here, like alongside my cheeks were just like, dry and a bit like scabby is that a is that the right word like scaly I think yeah I sound like a lizard I'm not a lizard (laughs) I promise it was like a bit scaly rough rough is probably the right word did it feel tight it felt tight like here on my cheeks but I also have rosacea Mm. so I was like okay interesting 30 minutes fine and then I had to do some work in the morning so I was working and then so I assumed my skin was dry right so I'm like 30 minutes my skin's dry well done. I mean, you dry now. But then as I was doing working, so it was probably like an hour after, dripping with oil. I'm an oily girl. Oh. On your cheeks as well? Like on my cheeks, here, like forehead. So I'm confused. I don't think that's really a hack because I feel like my skin after 30 minutes is so different from like 30 minutes and then like the end of the day if I don't use any product. Do you know what I feel though? I feel like because your skin changes from day to day, from week to week, when you wash your face in the morning, you take a second, look in the mirror and see what your skin needs because it needs different things on different days. Mine needs foundation. <laughs> like mine's just red. <laughs> mine's like, cover this up, girl. <laughs> but maybe that's where you need a certain type of serum or more moisturizer yeah. or, you know. I feel like it's not, as you said, like a, a total... I just know that like if I assumed my skin was dry and I came into the office with like my oils and my serums... You would be like, did you just go running a marathon because you're sweating? And I'm like, no, I thought I had dry skin. <laughs> you're dripping, babe. But like my oil, I just know I produce so much oil on my face. Like I just know that I'm an Must be girl. nice, right? <laughs> like my skin's not thirsty and weird like yours. <laughs> my skin's young and youthful. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go then. So it probably, is I'm, that a fail? I think that's, I'm sorry, Bambi, but I think this is a fail for me. So obviously every day is different for your skin. So I think what people should do is when you cleanse your face or if you just wash it with water or whatever you do in the morning, you take a moment, look in the mirror, 
have a look at what kind of skin concerns you have. Have a little combo <laughs> with your skin and be like, what are we doing today? Are we throwing red patches? Are we getting a little bit? My you know, skin would flaky? literally tell me, get some makeup on me. <laughs> you need to, you need to hide this. Okay, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I, but I feel like even then, right, your skin changes a little bit after. Like, what if like right? I feel like right in the moment because of my rosacea and stuff, my skin's always like, I need to hydrate, which I do. But it's also so dry that I, if I chuck on a heap of serums and oils. That's going to make me look a bit weird by like in the next few hours. I feel like you should be using Do I need to keep checking in on my day? sections of your skin as well. I yeah. feel like you should be like multitasking with the product. So if oh. a certain if a certain area feels really dry but a certain area feels really oily. Oh my god, I need to section maybe out be my using face. using targeted products for targeted areas maybe. Oh, that sounds like a lot of work. I don't know. I'm not a dermatologist. <laughs> Well, that's all we have time for today. That was a hefty show, Em. That was fun. I, I feel like do you got a nail, I got a fail. Kind of. As long as we get one fail winner. For me. As long as we as long as we get one winner and maybe help that poor person who's like, as I'm going to As long as we get that. one winner and it's me winning. <laughs> I'm fine. As long as I am the winner, <laughs> then it's a good show. But thank you so much for listening. And if you would like to give us a five star review. Oh, please do. You can. You'll find us on whatever podcast app you're listening on. We only want five stars though, so <laughs> anything less. Sorry, we don't accept. <laughs> you can also follow us on Instagram at you Beauty Podcast. We're always doing road little videos over there. There's so much fun <laughs> happening there. And today's show was produced by the lovely, lovely Cassie Merritt with audio production by Lou Hill. And we'll see you tomorrow for In Her Bag. <gasps> Can't wait.